Would you like to make a gorgeous fall flower wreath using one roll of 10 inch decomesh? That is exactly what we are doing in today's video. Hello my sweet friends, my name is Nadia and this is Simba and we are going to make a beautiful, beautiful fall wreath. Let's get started. Let's go over the supplies for this wreath. I'm going to be using one roll of deco mesh that is 10 inches in width and 10 yards in length. I'm going to use some felt to cover the back of the wreath. You will need 12 pipe cleaners and maybe a few more depending on whatever your centerpiece is. For my centerpiece, which is absolutely stunning, I love this sign, it's metal, has two holes at the top and the bottom to hang it and I'm going to use a black floral wire to attach it to our wreath base. To decorate my wreath I'm going to use some of these maple leaves. They come in a pack of 50 at the Dollar Tree and they usually come in a variety of colors. Sometimes they're green, red, even gold sometimes depending on the pack you get. But you're going to need just a few so whatever you have on hand is going to do just fine. For ribbon, I'm going to be using this grow grain orange ribbon that's 5 eighths of an inch. You can get 5 eighths or smaller for this project. I recommend grabbing a ribbon that matches your deco mesh color and you'll see why in just a second. For our wreath base, we're using this metal bicycle wheel wreath and this one is 14 and a half inches in diameter. Before we get started, I'm going to take the felt that I'm going to use to cover the back and prepare it because it's going to be easier to cut it out now than when the wreath is all done. Laying the wreath down and yes, you are going to have another little section. We'll take care of that later. But now I'm going to take an ink pen and just mark where to cut. I think this is going to be enough for the other side. I find that the best scissors to use for this are called Slice. This is not sponsored or anything, but I just find that they work the best when cutting felt. By the way, these are the ones that are the plastic blades, so I'm not sure why they work so good on felt, but in case you're interested, I will link them in the description box below. To prepare a wreath base, I'm going to take that orange ribbon and I'm going to wrap it around the edge. The reason I'm going to be doing that is the outside of the petals could be a little bit on the thin side and you have a little bit of a chance for this outside layer to be shown. So to prevent that, I'm going to wrap the ribbon all around and that way this outside layer won't show and you will have a seamless flower. This is really important to do when you're using lighter colors. And you know what, sometimes I have seen people even spray paint their wreath base, but I don't think that's necessary in this case. I'm going to dot a little bit of hot glue as we're going along. Otherwise, I'm just going to twist twist and twist going all the way around. When you are done, your wreath base should look something like this. To prepare my pipe cleaners, I'm going to fold them in three sections. You can fold them in half also, but I'm just going to measure four inches, fold them and just cut. They'll cut real easy. When I'm done, I'm going to fold them in a little V so it's easier for me to grab them while I'm working. Next, I'm going to be using my rotary cutter and we're going to cut our deco mesh. Our deco mesh is 10 yards, as I've said before, which means it is 360 inches. Divide that by 10 because we are going to be making 10 inch strips. That's going to give us 36. We are going to need a total of 36 petals for this wreath. Let's get started cutting our 10 inch pieces. Next, we're going to fold our petals. We have the factory edge, that's the thicker edge, and then we have the edge that we cut ourselves. What we're going to do is bring cut edge to cut edge together, so our factory edges are on the sides. 
You can do the petal two ways. The first way is just to overlap it. With one hand, you're holding the petal in place. With the other one, you're bringing it together all the way in. Now you can decide whether you'd like your petal to be open like this or you would like to bring it in. I usually like to bring them in, so I'll pull on the side and with my other finger I'll kind of pull it in so that we can bring this in and I'm going to do the same thing here find that center and kind of push in the middle and then bring this in and now you have a beautiful petal take my pipe cleaner at this point really make sure that you are pushing back on the petal so that you can get a nice seal with the pipe cleaner two twists you are going to have some fraying going on at the tip just cut that off and smooth that out because you know that this part is solid and your petal is going nowhere if you are having a hard time with your hands maybe consider doing the petal the second way we're still going to bring cut edge to cut edge which means our factory edges are at the top and at the bottom but when we do the top what I'm going to do is grab a little clamp and clamp that together now we know it's secure and we're just going to start bringing it together maybe you're going to need both of your hands to bring it together that's just fine because it is taken care of on top so you can definitely do this making sure you grab both rows and if one of the rows slide like it did in this case it's okay we fix it and we move on I'm going to take my clamp off if you want to leave the pedal like this now it's time to put our pipe cleaner on but I am going to round it off so I'm going to pull and with another finger I'm going to push back in the middle bring that in same thing on this side and bring it in now the pipe cleaner make sure you're pushing back as much as you can two twists or three and now we're going to cut off anything that's fraying my tail on here is usually three quarters to an inch at this point I'm going to go ahead and do the remaining petals let's use a clamp and then we're going to be ready to bring our gorgeous flower together all my petals are made this is going to be so easy this bicycle wheel wreath has 12 spikes each spike is going to get three petals but we are going to do one layer at a time going from the outside in so that each petal can start overlapping the next all I'm doing is just putting it on and let's do a little bit of twisting in the back wrap it around you may ask well Nadia can't I just do one spike at a time do three 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 you can and you can overlap them I just find this way a little bit easier to lay them out I also wanted to mention that I'm bringing all the petals from the front and I'm twisting them in the back. The way I know it's the back is you can see the spike endings. I'm done with my first layer. We are starting to look like a flower. And I'm going to go ahead and write on top of this layer, do another set of 12 petals. I have completed the first two rows. I have one more. The third layer is in and the coolest part about this wreath is we can bring the flower in as much as we want and push it out as much as we want. For now the petals are still moving quite a bit but I always like to take care of that part after I take care of the center. I was going to put in the sign but I knew that it's definitely not going to go flat because of our tails. I grabbed a little bit of floral foam. This floral foam is the hard type. This is not the soft one that's going to squish. All I'm going to do is put some hot glue right on it and attach it. It's going to give us a little bit of a lift from the center so that the sign is not squished back. 
Next, I'm going to grab the floral wire and I'm going to cut two pieces at about 20 inches each. Folding the floral wire in half, I always like to fold the thinner floral wire just to make sure that it's nice and secure. And two tight twists. When attaching the sign in the back, I'm going to wrap my floral wire around that third or that first from the inside pipe cleaner. This way the sign is going to be centered. Cut off the excess and wrap it around. Same thing on the other side. The next thing you want to do is center your sign. I'm grabbing a ruler and knowing that my sign is eight inches, I'm going to find the center and I'm going to hot glue. As my hot glue is cooling, I'm going to take that felt that we cut out earlier and lay it right over. Before I put hot glue all over this side, I'm going to fold it over and do the little one. Hot gluing in place, a nice layer of hot glue right in the center to bring both of these pieces together. Nice and gentle. And now I'm just going to go on the edge and hot glue the rest of that felt in. Besides covering the back, this felt also plays an important role making sure that our petals don't flip to the back because remember, they are tied around a single wire so they can definitely flip, but that is going to prevent it. When adjusting the petals, the first thing you want to do is take care of that third or inside row because we want to make sure that it's going around the center really nicely. And then we can bring in the rest of the petals. Usually when I do a floral wreath like this, I like to put greenery on the edges, but this time we're going to enhance this wreath just a little bit with a few little leaves. And I'm not taking anything that's too contrasting. These are yellow ones. They will stand out just a little bit, but not too much. And I'm going to attach them throughout the wreath. Maybe you want to do every other petal. I'm kind of just laying them out how I think they should look to give it a little bit of softness. I'm going to stretch them out and then I'm going to add some in between. I don't know about you, but this is giving me really beautiful fall vibes. So let me go ahead and attach these and I'm literally going to give it just a tiny bit of hot glue to do this. Let's do the opposite side and then work the others in the center. Once again, I started to embellish, thought I was going to put like six leaves and now I have a lot more, but I think it looks so elegant. It looks so beautiful. It looks like an extension of our centerpiece and I think it turned out stunning. When it comes to hanging the wreath, I'm going to just find my top. There is an area where I did not hot glue. I am going to put a jute cord through there and make a hanging loop. I'm going to send that nub to the back. If you enjoyed this tutorial and would love to see more wreath tutorials, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you are not subscribed already. It is so nice to see you on this channel. Thank you so much and Simba and I will see you in our next video. Bye bye my friends. Somebody want to say bye? Bye! He is just purring today. Give me five though. Yay!